So now we are going to work with the restore concept of the SQL Server DBA. So restore. It is used to restore a database from the backups. See, generally in case of disasters, of course some other issues, we are going to lose databases, right? In such cases, what to do? We have to restore the database from the backups, okay? So of course it's not regular configuration in real time, but it's really important, okay? <coughs> Sorry. So coming to next scenario, for example, we are working with a production database. For this production database, we have taken full backup. Then, so differential backup. After that, uh, we have taken log backup. Right. So we have three backups. Full backup is there, differential backup is there, and log backup is also there. Now we lost our database. So what to do? We have to recover our database from these backups. Okay. See, first we have to go for full backup restore, differential backup restore, log backup restore. But remember one thing, when we are going to perform restore operation, we have to follow restore modes. Right. Let us see what are the restore modes available. <coughs> first of all, with the standby. See, then with the no recovery. After that, we can go for with the recovery. Right, let's discuss one by one. First, with the standby. It is used to restore a read-only database. For example, you are going to restore full backup, differential backup, log backup and you are using with the standby. So that a read-only database will be restored. Read-only database means what? After completion of the restore, <coughs> you can get a database but you can perform only read operation on the database. You cannot perform modifications and all. See, with the standby uses is rare case only because when you want to work with the read-only database, then only you go for with standby. So coming to with the no recovery, use it for all backup files except the final file. What is the final file in this example? Log backup. That means, when you are going to restore full backup and differential backup, you have to use with no recovery. Coming to with recovery, use it only for final backup file. So, what is the final backup file in this example? Log backup. When you are going to restore log backup, you should go for with the recovery. Okay? <coughs> now, question is, huh? what is the difference between with recovery and with no recovery? See, for example, you are going to restore full backup. You are using with no recovery. After that, you can restore differential backup without any issues. Coming to next scenario, you are going to restore full backup. You are using with the recovery. After that, you cannot restore differential backup and log backup. That means, with the recovery means recovery completed, restore completed. Okay. So once restore is completed, then you cannot restore any more files any more backup files into that database, right? That's why for the final file only, we are going to work with recover, with recovery because with final file only, recovery or restore will be completed, right? Coming to next step, huh? if you are using with the recovery, then database status will be inaccessible. If database is inaccessible, then only we can restore more backups into that database. Coming to with the recovery, <coughs> if, if you are using with the recovery, then your database status will be accessible. Once database is accessible, then we cannot restore any more backups into that particular database. That's why for final backup file only, we need to go for with the recovery. So remaining all backup files, you should go for with no recovery only. Now in this case, we feel like, oh ho, 
we need to work with the with recovery for only lock back up that's not correct right irrespective of type of backup whatever the final backup file is there for that only go for with recovery for example i have like this lock backup 1 and uh, lock backup 2 what to do now tell me full backup with no recovery differential backup with no recovery lock backup 1 with no recovery lock backup 2 with recovery in the same way i have only full backup and differential backup what to do for full backup we need to go for with no recovery coming to differential backup we have to go for with the recovery so next step uh, i have only full backup what to do see for full backup only we need to go for with recovery because we have only one backup file there right only one one so this is what uh, restore and we have to <coughs> follow restore modes when we are working with this concept right so coming to next scenario when we are performing restore operation some information will be generated <coughs> information means for example suresh is a dba suresh connected to server suresh restored some database so that type of information will be generated of course that information is really important to us that is what description right so that information is going to store in msdb microsoft database system database in this database we have three tables like uh, so tables names are uh, restore file then restore file group then restore history right so these tables contains information regarding restore operation whenever you need some information regarding previous restore operations because already done so for that we can work with uh, we can get that data from msdb tables okay so coming to next step let's go for practical part of the restore operation okay see now i'm connecting to management studio right in management studio i'm going to perform restore operation but remember one thing if you want to perform restore operation backups are mandatory okay so now in this server my server name is see that suresh slash triple s prod 01 that is what my server name so in this server i have a database like uh, suresh db this is my production database and now i'm going to show a restore operation on this production database only okay so let me take backups first of all see connect it to query <coughs> in this uh, <coughs> first i'm going to execute backups of course backups concept is different just if i want to perform restore operation i need backups that's why i'm taking backups okay so first i'm going to take full backup the script is uh, backup database database name is suresh db to disk equal to why i'm giving disk equal to because i'm going to send my backup file into disk that's why disk equal to provide path f drive and uh, file name is uh, fullback.bak dot bak is extension of the backup files so with init just go for execution see that execution done successfully and uh, i send my backup file into f drive i'll show that practically of course in real time we are not going to store backup files in local hard disk because just now we are practicing that's why we are doing like this okay see that this is full backup file okay so coming to next scenario i'm going to execute a differential backup see backup <coughs> database suresh db to disk equal to f drive and backup file name i'm giving it as the back.bak with the differential comma in it so execute it see that differential backup also completed successfully next step uh, i'm going to execute log backup of course in log backup we have truncate backup and uh, no truncate that we already discussed in backups concept 
let me execute it backup log suresh db to disk equal to <coughs> f drive file name is logback.bak with no underscore truncate right done so let us see backup files in the disk we sent all backup files into f drive right go to f drive see that this is full backup file differential backup file and log backup file now what i am doing is i want to perform restore operation that's why i am going to delete this database of course in real time we are not going to delete production databases see if you lost the production database then only you go for restore operation otherwise we are not going to perform restore operation so take right click on the database delete it so before going to delete uh, just uh, close existing connections click on okay see the database restored now let's go for restore operation first i'm going to restore full backup so script is restore database database name from disk equal to where is your backup file your backup file is there in f drive okay select it f drive file name is a fullback.bak now we need to go for with no recovery <coughs> why with no recovery because we have three backups full backup differential backup and log backup so for full backup differential backup we need to go for with no recovery coming to log backup we go for with recovery right that's what we already discussed so let's execute it see execution completed successfully now go to gui part go to databases here take right click and refresh it the database is there but what is the status of database open it nothing is there that means it is inaccessible why it is inaccessible because you restored full backup with no recovery that's why it is inaccessible okay so now coming to next scenario let's go and uh, restore differential backup see restore database suresh db from disk equal to f drive file name is uh, dbback.bak but for this also we need to go for with no recovery only because we have we have one more backup file right with uh, no recovery see that done restore done now let's go to gui just refresh it see that still it is inaccessible why it is inaccessible because we restored differential backup with uh, no recovery that's why it is inaccessible now let's go to restore log backup see coming to log backup we have to restore it in uh, with recovery because this is the last backup file right so restore log uh, suresh db from disk equal to provide disk f drive file name is uh, logback.bak this time we need to go for with uh, recovery see that done let's go and check the database go to databases in gui refresh refresh it see that now database is accessible see that you you can you can work with the tables also anything is possible any operation can be done so this is what restore concept in the same way go to system databases and go to msdb go to tables so you just scroll it down here we can see tables restore file restore file group restore history so these tables contains information regarding restore operation right fine